guys, Kalen Angloss here, and today I want to talk about something that can limit your performance more than anything, and that's what's called the anaerobic threshold, or sometimes called the lactate threshold, okay? So in a previous video, we looked at how blood lactate, or lactic acid, builds up in the muscle and how it affects performance. Take a look at that video if you haven't already gone there. But today what I want to talk about is a point in our training where our blood lactate accumulates so much that we can't get rid of it. So as we accumulate blood lactate, we're constantly getting rid of it and using it as well. But as that builds up, that's going to build up over time and it's going to affect our performance. And that's called the anaerobic threshold or the blood lactate threshold. So we have blood lactate here. As our training goes over time, we kind of get going against hard harder and harder and harder, it gets up and up as time goes harder and harder, there's a certain point in that where our anaerobic threshold is. And that's where our lactic acid is building up in our muscles and we're not clearing it away. That's a problem because that's going to, again, affect our performance. So if we can take this point and we can make it higher or we can make it happen later on in our training, we're going to be able to perform better for a longer period of time. So how do we do this? How do we get our anaerobic threshold up or our lactate threshold so that we don't get that lactic acid build up in our muscle? Well now we're looking at interval training and specifically high intensity interval training like fartlek training where you are kind of going at a steady pace and then you burst and then you go at a steady pace, you burst, or you can do interval training like a 20 second on, 10 second off uh, rest work to rest ratio and then rest and go as fast as you can like hill sprints any kind of stuff like that where we're working at a high vo2 max or a high level of intensity and then giving ourselves some recovery that's going to get this lactic threshold or this anaerobic threshold up later on in our performance so that we can perform better and perform longer guys so practice this anaerobic training it's a very important part to your training protocols it should be in all your periodization programs to try and get you to work harder work longer, perform better. Okay, that's what we're all about with KFIT. It's optimizing performance. I'm Kalen Angloss. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, email me at kalenangloss at gmail.com. Thanks for talking. We'll talk to you next week.